to you and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, um, I'm going to tell you how to calculate the force, uh, in fact, instantaneous force, um, for in using the eddy current. As you know, the eddy current solution is taking care of the AC calculations of the magnetic field. And uh, what is interesting here is because we have this AC calculation as well as DC calculations, we can have uh, any calculation for the instantaneous force. So let's just start with uh, first number. The first question is: What is the force uh, that is going to be applied into uh, uh, into whatever in magnetic fields solutions well if you have a current carrying uh, conductor and then um, basically apply some 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 excitation current to that you have a J which is the current density uh, um, that, that is going through this current to this path basically the conduction conduction path and then if you have a magnetic field density B and uh, which is exposed to this uh, conduction path you will have a force and this force is basically somehow the product of the cross section uh, of J and B so this force can be either for the DC current and DC magnetic field basically which which is called the DC force FDC as you can see in this equation and it can be also for the AC current and uh, for the ACB that you have and uh, you can see the theoretical um, equation for, for that as well. So when you have an AC excitation current uh, and basically you create some ACB as well in, in whatever system that you are studying, what we have we will have is basically we would have a DC and AC force at the same time and when you add these two forces all together we will we will have an instantaneous force of FDC plus FAC as you can see here so now what we are going to do here is I'm going to use this uh, going to give you a very good example that is very interesting I found it and um, I'm gonna show you here that um, how you can use the power of the eddy current solution sol uh, solution or solver um, to calculate this uh, instantaneous force uh, in this uh, particular tutorial you are going to find something interesting as well and that is we are going to do these simulations both in 2D and 3D so you can easily see the differences between the 2D and 3D and what you would lose when you switch to the 2D Maxwell design okay and uh, one last thing is as I said you need to have a magnetic field and need to have a J Creating a J or the current density is not hard as you know uh, you can just have a conductive path and then you can have an excitation and then you decide how much current you're going to go through that by excitation current or you can actually say excitation current density terminal and you can basically give the J that you want so that's done you have the J inside uh, a conductive path but how do you want to have the B to be able to create to basically study the force that will be applied to this conduction conductive path let's call it a wire okay a piece of wire or like a bar um, well I shown you before how to create a magnetic field uh, with the boundary conditions in the uh, magnetostatic well of course when it's magnetostatic you're going to only uh, consider the DC part of the deal and um, you know you can actually see how much uh, magnetic field and uh, the JJ the cross of that is and how much force you will have and blah 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 okay good but one other way to do that is to create your own magnetic field and to do that we are going to um, see for example a very common um, two bus bars close to each other and uh, with with AC current at the frequency of 100 kilohertz and uh, you know like a one amp current going through them and they have a different phase uh, one of them is like 60 phase 60 degrees uh, lagging from the, uh, the other one and that will create some interesting magnetic field between them and you know because you have a magnetic field and you have the current density in both of these two uh, bus bars we will have a force and we want to see how much forces we have and does it cause vibrations is it going to loosen up all the uh, screws that we have in this bar questions like that 
So <clears throat> let's answer the force. So to do that, let's go ahead and create our first um, 2D Maxwell design. So I'm clicking on the insert 2D Maxwell design and now I'm going to go and create my own uh, region. So uh, click on the draw rectangular and uh, let's put the uh, origin of this rectangle uh, for the region and I'm going to put minus 150 millimeters for X and minus 150 millimeters for Y and of course 0 for Z. And then I'm going to extend the X and Y for 300 millimeters which gives me a nice uh, rectangle, uh, a square which 300 and 300 millimeters uh, basically uh, dimensions. Um, well, I'm going to call this region because this is the region that I'm going to uh, basically do all my calculation inside. Press OK and you see nothing. Well, you, you better to just click on the canvas area and then press Ctrl and then press D to best fit the zoom to be able to see whatever you created in your canvas. Well, you will see that there is a boundary of my uh, region. But uh, hold on a second, this is only a line. And as you can see over here, this is only line. So to whom that see this, this is not good because we have a closed polygon, but it doesn't make it to be a surface. So what we can do is we can either go and right click on the, the region and go over the, the edit and then go over the surface and say, you know, um, cover the lines. When you do that, it will create the, 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 the surface for us like this. Okay. Well, good. Uh, and now that we have this surface, we can double click on the, <coughs> The surface and say you know the material should not be a vacuum we can have it to be uh, copper so this is copper okay or actually in this case it is vacuum so let's leave it vacuum because it's the region that we are going to do the calculations so now uh, you know this is kind of not nice to each time go and do the copper face um, is there any easier way to do that answer yes there is and how we do that is we go on the tools and then over the Sorry, in the options, you go to the modeler options, okay? Tools, options, modeler options. And then over here we go and say, you know, if I have a polyline, automatically cover the closed polyline. That's what I want. It's not going to be a closed polyline by itself. I was trying to make a surface. And there we go. So when you click that, the next polyline that we are going to make, the closed polyline, it's going to be a surface. So it's going to be closed automatically. So let's do that. So the next one is going to be the left boss bar and then we have a right boss bar. The left boss bar will create the B and the right boss bar will move and so on and so forth. So let's create the left boss bar. Uh, I'm going to go and select uh, copper from here so I don't need to change the material and press the draw. And then over here I'm going to put the value of minus 12 for X minus 2 for Y and 0 for the D for the Z and for the DX DY and DZ I'm gonna have 4 4 and 0 come on there we go press OK and uh, let's call it left okay so left is in material and this is a boss bar that we have great um, you know let's make a nice color for that uh, there we go Nice. Okay. Now we can create the right one as uh, easy as you can see here. Oh, by the way, you can see that this is closed. So the thing, the option works. Oh, great. Okay, so let's create the, the other one. Uh, I'm going to go 8 for the X, minus 2 for the Y, and Z is 0. And the DX, DY, DZ is going to be 4, 4, and 0. Okay, and uh, this is going to be right. Okay, I'm going to call it right here. Oops. Okay, and it's 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 copper, so that's good. Press OK. Okay, and basically this is this is done for now. And now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to to create the excitations. There's some tricks over there, so you learn how to. Um, to change the, the lines 
the closed polylines to cover the surface and also you know what we are going to simulate in this tutorial. Great, see you in the next tutorial for uh, assigning the excitations and setting up the analysis.